So my uncle's press conference is going to be on soon. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks very much. Bye. DJ, hey, hey, hi. Uh, Ryan, I'd love to talk, but I'm real busy. Hey, wait a minute. Listen to me. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I know why you've been acting so crazy. I know why you started that food fight, and I know why you walk around all day with that mope on your face. I don't have a mopey face. You're smart enough to go to college. And you want to go to college, right? Look, right, we've been through all this stuff before. I know we've been through it before, but you still act like it's a crime to want to go. All right, look, I admit it. I want to go. That doesn't really matter, because there's nothing we can do about it. Well, DJ, there's got to be a way. Mm, sure. Don't you believe in miracles? I do. Oh, good, Ryan. Hi. Hi. So, DJ, wait a minute. Am I interrupting something? Hey, maybe you can help me. Well, what is it? Have you got a problem? Okay, well, well, how can somebody who's really smart but didn't graduate high school go to college? Oh, that simply takes a high school equivalency and applies. You're a genius. <laughs> okay. Again, from the top, the call came from a man who said someone needed an ambulance. Jack, we've gone over this 40 times. We're not going to figure this thing out until we have more information, more evidence, something. Okay, okay, let's go back to the call before this one. Please, Jack. All right, all right, no more. After all, this, uh, this is a date. Research project. Hmm. Um, Research project, Manhattan on 15 bucks a night. Myth or reality? Chili. <clears throat> Tasky gets Mongolian goat and I get chili. Would you rather have goat? Oh, actually, I prefer chili. And this place, it's really nice. It's friendly, cash. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am Leela, and I can see into your future. Ooh. Well, I'm sure you can, Leela, but uh, we already know there's no money in our immediate future. It's <laughs> all right. I'm free. My reward is your enlightenment. You set this up, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. Oh, come on, Jack. Honest, I swear, I had no, I have no idea. I don't know. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, what is it? You have had heartbreak in your past. There's been danger, too. More danger lies ahead. Hey, hey uh, aren't you supposed to be talking about love and uh, romance? Yeah. Yeah. That will come. That will come, too. But... Uh, that's, uh, that's fine. Thanks. But about this danger, this... Let you know. Thank you. Thanks. She probably says that to everybody. Don't, uh, don't take her seriously. Right. Right. Sure. All right, Frank. Okay, okay. no, 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 it's the last question. All right, we gotta, we gotta wrap this up. Okay, all right, Frank. Uh, excuse me. Early in your campaign, you promised to make an issue of high-level corruption. You singled out Max Dubujak in particular. Uh, what is your position on Max Dubujak, and does your wife intend on remaining as his attorney? As I said earlier tonight, I have no reason to believe that Mr. Dubuzhak is guilty of any wrongdoing. If he is, he's going to hear from me, as will anyone else who breaks the law. As for my wife, her outstanding record speaks for itself. If she chooses to represent Mr. Dubuzhak, this that's her professional decision, and I stand by her. And my wife is interested in justice. I'm interested in justice as well. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Waiting here. 
Laura Lee now went down to the boat. She thought maybe you'd slipped in without even turning the lights on. We made you some dinner. It's in the oven. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. First things first. How you feeling? <laughs> I feel tired. But it's a good kind of tired, the kind of tired you feel when you've had a hard day's work. Come on, sit down. Thanks. Thank you. So? Why'd you do it? Do what? Risk your freedom by going into New York City for me. Laureline told me. Well, let's just say that I feel responsible when I find ladies lying on the pier knocked out cold, huh? Well, don't you want to know what the doctor said? <laughs> sure I do. Who'd you talk to? A specialist. Oh. A neurologist. He said that you are going to get your memory back real soon. <laughs> hey, isn't that going to make you happy? It's supposed to. I don't know. I keep wondering, you know. Maybe the past was painful. Maybe I needed to break away from it for a while so I could heal some wounds. Maybe. I know what it's like to want to forget about the past. Sometimes it's the only way to face the future. Tomorrow, Angela's ex is getting remarried and the gang's heading west for a California wedding on Who's the Boss? Then is Mike's new girlfriend too hot to handle? Find out on Growing Pains. After, John Jake's epic story of a young America in crisis continues. North and South. Ava makes her move on Curtis. Stay tuned for Loving next.